What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder with this very strong Loivern and Kyogre team to help you guys push high ranks in the Master Tier. You guys already know the deal. If you are excited for today's video, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, what are you doing? You are out of your mind. Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. Seriously, thank you to everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. It really does go a long way. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Colton. Colton, shout out to you for leaving this team for me. Cannot wait to show it off, get some wins, and show it off for the rest of the viewers. But like I said, we got Noivern and Kyogre. Kyogre is pretty meta. I know you guys want to see a little bit of more meta teams to help you guys push. So that's why I'm using this team right here. But this team also features a few off meta Pokemon like Noivern. So I cannot wait to use this Pokemon and rock out with this team. But Noivern, Let's get started with him in that top left corner. Very strong, very underrated Pokemon in my opinion. I just think he's very underused and he can be really, really good in most situations. He's got the Frisk ability. He's got the Focus Sash as his item on this one. And then we got Hurricane, which is going to be able to hit 100% of the time in the rain. Tailwind to set up Speed Control for the squad. And then we got Super Fang and Taunt for our final two moves. Right next to him is going to be Fighting in Dark Urshfu with the Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects and the Choice Scarf. I really like this item choice. I really like having either like Choice Scarf, Focus Sash, or like Choice Band on an Urshfu. Considering most of the time, you're putting them in the back end. So having a speed boost or an attack boost in the late game could really, really benefit you. So that's why I really like the Choice Scarf on this Pokemon. We got Wicked Blow and Close Combat both for our stat moves. You turn to Pivot and Ice Punch for our Lonesome Coverage move. Middle left is Roboom. That's all I need to say. Roboom's an absolute beast, can be played on any single team with this moveset and then a typical item and ability. So I'm not even going to talk about that Pokemon if you guys really want to check it out. All you got to do is just look there. It's right there. But next Pokemon is Ferrothorn, another great grass Pokemon for the team with Iron Barbs and Assault Vest. He's grass and steel type, so we got stab moves of Gyro Ball and Power Whip. Then we got knockoff takeoff items and body press for our nice, lovely little coverage move. And the great part about having Ferrothorn and Rillaboom on the team is if I get the grassy surge out there with the uh, Rillaboom, our Power Whip is going to do a massive amount of damage. So maybe we get to show that off, maybe not, but there's just an also benefit effect with having both these guys on our team. Bottom left corner is going to be the heart and soul of the team. That is going to be the one and only Kyogre. Probably the best restricted mod in the game right now. Like, hands down. It is so good. So powerful. Can control a battle. Can do 1v4s. It can legit do anything. This thing has a drizzle to set the rain, obviously. And then it has the sea incense, scald, thunder, protect, and water spell. And I really do like this moveset on the Kyogre. Considering we have the water spell, you have to have that move. It does so much damage. So if we can use that at full health, we can potentially pick up double kills. We have to protect. Gotta have that move as well. But this one's rocking thunder. And I really like having thunder as our coverage move considering it hits 100% of the time in the rain and most of the time when Kyogre's out on the field the rain is out and about so great coverage move be able to do big damage with that and then the final move is Scald which I love considering if a water spout is down low we can just go into a single Scald which is still able to do a lot of damage. Final Pokemon on this team is Landorus. Love this Pokemon right here. Haven't really been seeing a lot of him in Series 10. We've been seeing the other form, but this one is still very viable and very, very good. It has the Life Orb item, Intimidate ability, and then Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, U-Turn, and Protect. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Rack Double Ladder and look to get some wins with this Kyogre and Noivern team. I feel like every time I play with Kyogre or Groudon, I always go up against the total opposite Pokemon. We're having a weather war here with Groudon versus Kyogre. Hopefully, we come out on top and grab ourselves our first win for today's video. This guy also has the Incineroar, the Tapu Koko, the Trick Room Porygon 2. Then he has the Entei and the Chlorophyll Venusaur to get that double speed in the drought. Okay, so how should I go about this one? I could actually just lead Kyogre and Force Rain and maybe just do a hard swap early on, but I just feel like that's too much. I feel like that's too much. I feel like it's just like I'm overplaying there, but I'm definitely gonna lead the Noivern, try to get that Tailwind set up. He does also have the uh, the Incineroar, who he, he could definitely lead. He could definitely lead the Incineroar and fake out. So that is definitely an option. Uh, do I go into Rillaboom? Rillaboom might be faster than the uh, Incineroar. 106. That's gonna be kind of close. I think I still am gonna lead the Rillaboom because we do have high horsepower with that, which is great. Definitely gotta bring the Kyogre in the back end, and then final Pokemon. Hmm. Final Pokemon. Who am I bringing? Landorus? Landorus is looking really, really good here. I'm thinking Landorus. I am thinking Lando. I really do like Lando here. I am going to rock out with him. Let's bring him in here. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I feel like the only Pokemon I'm really worried about here, A, is going to be the weather. I'm not even worried about Ground. I can definitely take out Ground, but just the weather in general. And that Venus. Venus is so good. So good. Especially with Sleep Powders. This can do absolute work. It really can. 
But let's see who he leads. He's gonna lead the Groudon, is that his play? He is. He's gonna lead the Groudon and Venus for combo. Okay, so I'm kind of cool with that. And I think if we just... Well, I could just fake out, uh... What do I fake out here? I don't even have to fake out. I feel like if I just swap into a... What's it called? If I just swap the weather. And then just drop a heavy... Hurricane into that Pokemon? It could definitely work. Right? Just go Hurricane into you. And then change weather. By swapping. It'll be really, really strong here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just swap weather early on. So he made a big mistake. Never never lead your weather guy. Never lead your weather guy. Unless you're trying to make like a huge lead. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what this guy was doing. He's going to end up with on. So the, he, he was doing the play that I wanted to do. He was doing the play that I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I'm totally cool by this. I'm really, really cool with this turn. I'm really, really cool with this turn. Considering this hurricane should just be able to dump on this Pokemon right now. Should be able to say see you later. He's probably going to bring back in the uh, the Groudon next turn after a fake out. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. But this hurricane should just say see you later. Oh, he protects, dude. He protects. What do you mean? This with a heavy protect there. Heavy little protect. All right. So with that play going on there, here, I am definitely going to set up a Tailwind. Because do we feel like he swaps uh, the Venusaur? Let's have Fake Out. Mm. It's tough. This is tough news here. I could swap you. I could swap my, my Kyogre into my Landorus, which could be really, really nice here. Or he could be going for a Grass move against me. So I'm just going to swap back into my Rollboom here. Set up this lovely little tailwind. This lovely little tailwind. Swap for Kyogre back out. I probably could have went for a move. Maybe should have been the play. Let's see what he does. He's gonna swap back out the Incineroar. Or he's gonna swap the Venusaur. We're going to Groudon. So Groudon's back out and about. We just did a little swap. Oh, dude, it's a huge weather war going on here. Huge weather war. And I can totally just go for a grassy guy next turn. That might just do. Let's see who he fakes out. He's gonna fake out Robo Slot. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Big old tailwind popping out here. We got a huge tailwind out and about. He could. I'm trying to think. He could go for a. Uh, could go for a. Uh, actually, I'm just going to swap you. I'm going to swap back into the Kyogre. And I am just going to. I could high horsepower or I could grass glide. But I could see him swapping out the ground on. So I'm just going to high horsepower into you. Actually, if he does swap the ground on, there's no need to swap right now. With speed all day. I can half health on somebody. I'm gonna half health onto the Incineroar. I might double into the Incineroar. Could be really, really good. Actually, no. We're just gonna Grass Glide over onto the ground on slot. Let's see if he swaps him again. He does not swap. So we make a great play. I'm gonna do a huge Grass Glide. Doing big old damage. And Super Fang is going to pop here and half this thing's health. Probably triggering a berry, right? This thing buried. And he's dropping a rock side. And Roboom dodges attack. And I would rather have my Noivern, but we're still fine. That's easy eats for Noivern. Noivern eats up, and I think Roboom goes out here. Oh, he U turns. He U turn pivots. I'm totally fine with that. He U turns pivots, and he's going to go into, uh, what's it called now? He's definitely going to go into Venus. And in that case, I'm just going to swap the Noivern and save him for the back end for later, because he is definitely one of the fastest on the field. And I think we might grant him out here. Ooh, I think he does come out. So, I, dude, Kyogre has to come out here for me. Kyogre is a must. It's a must. Kyogre is 100% a must here. And you know what? I really feel like he's protecting. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like he's protecting that uh that Groudon or something along those lines. So I am just going to drop a high horsepower into this entity slot. I just feel like I can go for a read here. I feel like he's either swapping or protecting. Let's just see what happens here. Or maybe another rock side. Drizzle is out and about. Weather is now ours. I could just I probably should have just went for the grand sky. I'd go for the smart turn. He does withdraw. There's a great call by me. He does withdraw, probably gonna go into the Venusaur at this point. So he goes back into the cinema, which I'm totally fine with. I am totally fine with that. Back into the cinema, we take weather, he swaps back, and we are gonna be able to get off a nice lovely high horsepower onto this Pokemon. Eruption's gonna not even be able to take out my real boom. It's in the rain, and barely do damage onto my Kyogre. Loving it, loving it. High horsepower drops. That's some good old damage on this thing. We chip it away. And we slowly chip it away. 
Alright, so the play is definitely going to a water spout. He's definitely faking me out. But I still have to go in that water spout just in case he doesn't. Uh, let's just see how this one. Let's just see how this one rolls. So I'm probably gonna try to drop a high horsepower into the uh, into the what's he called? The instant roll here. Let's do that. Let's rock out with that. No which roll the and he's gonna go back out into ground. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that all. I really am. I think our I think our turns are gone. We still have choice scarf. Don't we have our choice scarf in the back end? I think we do. I think we still have Earth Spoon in the back end, which is great. We're going to protect him. If he's faking out there, we can say probably buy that in Cinemore. Yep, fake outs are great little protect by me. Great little protect. And high horsepower is going to miss. Oh, no, he has a fairy. He has a fairy. Okay. I thought I was missing because it was a... Uh... You ever get like the little laggy animation? Like That's how you know you're going to miss is when the move doesn't come out right away. This thing's rocking Shukaberry. He's rocking the Shukaberry. Um, I feel like my boy still on speeds. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like Kyogre still has speeds, but I really don't want to risk the game here. Do we still have terrain? If we do, that's huge. Yeah, when Peter's out and the grass disappears. God dang it. Okay. Who's faster? I feel like Kyogre is faster, right? I think I'm just going to go into a water spout. Even through this drought, I feel like we still go into a water spout. And then we swap them next turn. I feel like we're faster, right? I'm just going to say we're faster here. There's no much all the ground. I'm totally cool with that. We're going to high horsepower. Probably is this Venusaur. Yeah, Venusaur comes back out here. And Water Spout does come out here. Yeah, so we, we were faster, so that's great. I feel like we take him out. Yeah. So we take out the Incineroar, which is great. And we're going to be able to drop a nice little high horsepower onto this Pokemon. And now I'm going to swap my Kyrie. Because now he cannot swap his, uh, what's called? Now he cannot swap his, uh, his board. Cannot swap his ground. Ground's going to come out here. We can play this one super, super slow. So I'm really like this. I'm really digging this. We still have our Noivern. Oh, no. He hasn't gotten rid of this Pokemon yet. So in this drought, mm, Venusaur is fastest. I am just going to swap the Noivern in here. I mean, I could go for an Intimidate, but it's just going to do nothing. I might as well save it for the ground on. And I thought we had our Choice Scarf, but now I realize what team we brought. <laughs> um, I am just going to protect you after a swap. Try to keep Rillaboom in here for another turn. And we're just gonna play like this. We're just gonna play like this. So Kyogre's gonna get the swap. I just need to back out here for weather. And we'll see how this one plays out here. This Venusaur is flying right now. And I really need to slow it down. So okay, we real uh we we showed the choice scarf. We showed the choice scarf, and I think that was on the end. I didn't get to read the other one. Grass not's gonna fly through here. We might be able to eat that. We do, that's lovely. That's lovely being able to eat the grass on. And that thing's life orb and that thing's choice card. That's why he was out speeding earlier. That's why he was out speeding earlier. So he's going for eruptions, which isn't gonna do too too much as as it used to. Considering his health is down, but let's just change weather. He's probably gonna swap again, and in that case, I'm still gonna go into a uh I'm still gonna go into a water spout. Even if he swaps. Because this water spout is still gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage, and I feel like that alongside with the high horsepower, we'll be able to take out whatever Pokemon's on that left slot and take out the Venusaur. Let's do it. Let's go straight up Water Spout. Get after it this way. Yo, we're playing some good, good, good Pokemon here. Good weather control here. Great weather control. So is this guy. This guy's also playing great weather control. But there's a swap. And Venusaur is going to be able to outspeed now. Ooh, that's a little tough. That's a little tough. And oh, Water Spout's not going to be able to do as much. Should, I should have scalded it. I should have scalded him. What's he going for? Grass Knot? Beat this all day, baby. I think we just lost. I think we just lost, man. That's tough, dude. This, this was a great battle. This was a really good battle. But if High Horsepower can take out here, I could see us win this battle. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What you mean? What you mean? He's not dead? Oh my lord, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Don't do that to me. Don't you do that to me. Don't you do that to me. Oh. That is, that's disgusting. That is so disgusting. I don't like that one bit. Don't like that one bit. 
Come on, man. Come on. Free focus, Ash. Bruh. Get this dude out of my face. Get this dude out of my face. Please, get this dude out of my face. Come on, man. Come on, man. Both my Pokemon are able to eat. That's rough. That is super rough. Earth Power is going to be able to fly through here. That's going to do some damage on him. Take him out. And this is super close. This is super, super close. The rest of the guy's going to get blocked. Um, hmm. Hmm. He does have that... He does have that, what's it called? That Entei. He does have that Entei. And I'm thinking of just... Earth powering onto this thing and just protecting my build in here. I'm thinking that's the play. See how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Maybe we should double protect. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly through here. Should be easy eats for the boy. Yeah, and he should be able to eat up this uh, eruption as well. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, think it goes down the light board. If I can hit this EP, we win. Eruption comes out here. We block it. That's tough news. Eat this up. Eat this up all day, baby. All day. I don't think he's eating this all up. That's rough. That is rough. That is rough news. This thing is choice. It is going to be GG's, yo. Are you kidding me? Free focus ashes? Free focus ashes. We need this dude to miss. We need this dude to miss, yo. Free focus ashes? I can't deal with it. Here's another eruption. That's going to connect. It never misses. And that's going to be GG's. That is so rough. That is so rough. Come on, man. We play that one super, super well. And he wins to a free focus ash. Get out my face. I can't believe I gave up another free focus ash. I feel like I've been doing that every single video. I give out so many free focus ashes. It is crazy. We definitely lost that battle to either that or me not protecting my Kyogre. I think I should have protected my Ky Kyogre. But I think if that Venusaur went down to that high horsepower, we 100% would have won that game hands down but hey we're hopping into battle number two let's grab ourselves our first win in this one we're going up against a kai ogre team so little mirror matchup action going on here he also has the tesserine over here and then he has the uh thunderous the urshfu the tornadus and the instant okay uh definitely want to set up a tailwind here that one would be lovely and i kind of just want to go into kai ogre I like kai ogre early on here could be great it definitely be great so i'm just gonna lead kai ogre gotta get after it that way does have the Queenly Majesty, so gotta watch out for that if I'm going into my fake outs and all that. Gotta bring in my Rillaboom in the back end and then final Pokemon. Hmm. I'm thinking Landers, but at the same time, I think Urshfu is definitely gonna be our best option here. Let's roll in with that. Let's roll in with that. I'm liking the squad. Let's grab ourselves our first win here and take out this guy's Kyogre team. But dude, that was a great battle in the last one. We were both playing our weather really, really well. Swapping in and out, left and right, just trying to make the right calls. And he ended up grabbing that one. I'm a little upset with that one. But hey, it happens. It totally happens. But this time, we don't have to worry about weather. We both have Kyogre. And there's no way we both don't bring Kyogre. I brought mine. Let's see if he brings his. He's going to go into Tornadus and uh, the grass buggy thing over here with Queenly Match. Okay, um, I'm kind of with this. We have the rain. Can taunt me. Wait, you can't taunt me. Do I taunt him first? He's life orb. Oh, he's life orb. He's orbed. He's orbed. I honestly think we don't even set up a plan on this turn. I just, I just think we go into this. I'm gonna protect this turn first. That might do. What do I, I, I think I just set up a Tailwind. Tailwind Protect. Tailwind Protect. We can, we can totally go and do the other thing next turn. Let's go Tailwind Protect. He might taunt me. That's my, that's my problem. That's my problem. He might taunt me. Let's see. Please don't taunt me. Let's just go Tailwind for Tailwind. That's the thing. I didn't want to go into a Hurricane and have the, uh, the Serene Protect. And then him set up a Tailwind and him kind of get the advantage like that. So we're just going to Protect the Kai over here. And see what he does. He's gonna taunt, dude. I knew it. Yo, I knew it, bro. I should have just dropped that thing with a hurricane. Could have been gorgeous. Could have been gorgeous. And triple axle flying out here. What you mean? So, our Noivern got taken out. It's all good. We're bringing out this Urshfu. We are bringing out this Urshfu here. And I'm totally going for an Ice Punch. I am going to Choice Scarf into an Ice Punch here. Try to hit that thing as hard as I possibly can. Actually, we are going to do this way. We're gonna hit this thing with an Ice Punch. Or I could U turn. U turn could be the play here. I'm actually just going to U-turn here and drop a Water Spout. See how that one works out. Maybe that can bring us back into the game. But, yo, I knew he was taunting, bro. I knew he was taunting. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let's U-turn out here. 
get some big damage on this arena and that in a water spot should definitely be able to take it out but oh seeing as first turn priority it's definitely scary for us it's definitely scary for us let's see let's see how this dude plays this one let's see what he does there goes the tailwind setting up god dang it man. god dang it i knew he was taunting bro i knew it double axle flies through that's easy eats for a boy all day all day, baby. He, of course, he gets three hits as well. Kind of rough. He shows the orb. Let's see how much damage our U turn can do. It is coverage, not stab. But still can do a great amount. There it is. And this water spout should be able to take out that uh, screen. And even better, take out that uh, Lanners unless he is Sash. Unless he's Sash. But we bring out Robum here, which gives us first turn priority, which is just damn, which is great all around. Let's see what he does from here. Let's see what his plan is. Hopefully this thing's not Sash. That'd be great, but I think it's 100% Sash. I mean, it could be Citrus Burn. You never know. You never know. We just have Tailwind out and about. Water Spout popping through here. Bang. Huge damage. Oh, yes. Yo, he's not Sash. Yo, let's go. He is not Sash. So that's huge. He's going to be forced to bring out his Kai over here. We have the Grassy Guide ready to rock. We have the Grassy Guide ready to rock. But I really like this. I really like this right now. Let's see. Let's see who he hops out with. Let's see who he hops in with. It's definitely the Kyogre. Kyogre and who? And whom? Whom is going to be your final mod? Kyogre, there it is. He might protect him. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that he might protect because he knows we have Grassy Guy ready to go. And Urshifu. Okay. I don't see Urshifu taking me out. I don't see Urshifu taking me out. I could just fake him out turn one. could just fake him out turn one and go into a a thunder or well i think i'm just dropping a skull on this thing i think it might protect but i'm just gonna fake out there just in case he uh he doesn't protect oh he's gonna protect you he might double protect down i'm cool with that turn if that's the case yep there's double protect all right so double protect pops which gives me a free grassy god which gives me a lovely grassy god here So, kind of like this. We can just grass guide over on you. That should be able to take you out. And in that case, I might just... So, I still scald. I'm still just going to scald. I'm still just going to scald. Because I definitely see this grass guide. Just saying, see you later, dude. It's stab. Super effective. In the surge. We got the miracle seed as well. Like, come on, man. What more do you want? What more do you want? Get him out of here. Take him out. Get him out my game, dude. You can have tailwind all day. You're not beating me, dude. You're not beating me. Get him out my face. Wicked Boy is going to fly through here. Is that up against my Kyogre? I hope so. It is up against my Kyogre, and that is exactly why I use Skull over one. So, I knew he would have speed, and I knew he would be able to do some big damage on me. Skull comes out here. That's huge damage. There's the Focus Sash. This Pokemon's rocking with it. Thank God he was rocking with it. Oh, we get a burn. We get a burn. Get him out of here. No, he's going to survive. <laughs> Actually, will Burn be able to take that out? It's going to cut close here. Let's see. Take him out. Nope, he's back down to one. He's back down to the Sash. You son of a biscuit, but hey, yo, that's going to be GG's. Your boy is coming in clutch. Even though we lost to Noivern and he set up Tailwind, we still win now. We don't need Tailwind. We're just that good. We're just that good. One and one for today's video. We're hopping into our third right after this, and we're going to look for that winning record. It's time to grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Zygarde team, and I think this is a team that I showed off, right? It was a team made by the world champion. I think I showed this one off recently in a video, so hopefully we can get after this one. Hopefully we grab ourselves that winning record. Let's get after it. Um, he doesn't have anything for weather, so that's really, really good for us. Um, who do I think he's going to bring? I think he's potentially going to lead that Regilecki. That's a really, really strong Pokemon there. And I could lead Bilbin. Bilbin could be great. That would be great. Bilbin's just so good, man. He's just so good. Um, I kind of want to bring Ferrothorn, but at the same time, I don't. I think we're going to bring Kyogre maybe as a lead. Or do I just bring Noivern as a lead? I think Noivern as a lead could be really good. So let's just bring them to Kyogre. And then final Pokemans. Do I go with the Lando? No, he does have Defiance. So no, no Lando. I could go Ferrothorn. But Urshfu is just so much better. We're going with Urshfu, dude. I feel like Ferrothorn just only comes in in like certain situations with this team. He's super good, but dude, a choice scarf Urshfu, just way better option all around. So third battle, we're grabbing ourselves to win a record. I'm not losing this one. I'm letting you guys know that now. Jeans is not losing this one. I'm still upset on that first loss. I wanted a perfect record out of today's video, but hey, things happen. Things happen. But we're definitely going to get you guys that win the record. 
Especially with this team, it's super, super strong. You know, Colton sent us an absolute banger. Definitely saw him lean that red selecty all day. Definitely seen him lean that red selecty all day. So in that case, I could protect. I could fake out. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? I'm thinking of just protecting and... That's tough. And setting up a Tailwind. Right? It should be an easy Tailwind to set up. Ah, uh, it should be an easy Tailwind to set up. I could protect, but I'm trying to think of who, who I should pick out. I like Regilecki Sash, so I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to set up this Tailwind. Even though a Fire Move might come across. Let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna, he has Fake Out of his own. Okay, so we're just going to have Fake Out for Fake Out turn. I'm with that. I'm with it. I actually really like that turn. I actually really like that turn. Considering a Grass God should 100% be able to take out that red like no problem. I'm going to be able to pop off into that thing and then just set up my own Tailwind. Right? I actually forget what moves these Pokemon are rocking. I'm trying to remember. Salazzle definitely has a fire move. Gonna end up protecting the Regilecki. He's smart little biscuit play there. He's smart biscuit. And I gotta be able to eat up this fire move. I'm really hoping I can. But I don't think I can, yo. This thing's orb, isn't it? I believe he is orb. With that orb, that might just be able to dump on me. Let's see. I'm rocking Heat Ring. The movie was originally rocking. I'm with that all day. Rillaboom eats up easily. Um. I think a grassy guy just does good damage to that red so I'm just gonna go into yet another one. Or actually I could just go into a high horsepower. I could just go into a high horsepower. The grassy guy guarantees this at first on priority, so I might as well do that. And then just drop a nice big old tailwind. Or I could half the health of that uh I think I'm just gonna half the health of that slazzle with a super fang. It's gonna be my play. I'm gonna withdraw the red selecty. So That's why I was thinking of going into a high horsepower. Let's see who he throws out. I'm gonna throw out the bird. Got him with the bird. Actually better than the high horsepower. You can deal some damage on that thing. Chip it up a little bit. And Super Fang's gonna be able to fly through here. Lovely. Lovely. Half that thing. Half it all day. And another heat wave is going to fly. And yo, that that actually makes everything better that my Rillaboom goes down here. Because with Rillaboom going out there, I get a free swap into my Kyogre with a tailwind, making Hurricane hit 100 percent of the time. So why not just go into a water spout hurricane? Simple combo, yo, so good. Like, this is why, like, Kyogre's so broken. Now, just imagine if they put in balance changes. Maybe got rid of something for him. Maybe this thing can't set rain. Maybe this thing can't learn water spout. Probably still would be very strong, but I'm just gonna do that and just drop him. It's just an easy call. It's just a super easy call. You give me no reason not to. None of these guys have fake out rain. None of these guys have first turn priority moves. It's GG's. It's over with. It is over with, hands down. It's over. Like, this is how you know, like, Kyogre's teams are broken. Like, I'm telling you it's over right now when he still has uh, four, all four Pokemon. But, yo, it's over. It's GG's. It is GG's. Because Noivern outspeeds, what's it called? Noivern outspeeds Vegelecki, and a Hurricane will take that out all day. All day. Kyogre might not in the Tailwind, but I know Noivern for a fact does. So now he's going to throw out, back out Regilecki, and Tapu Fini as his final Pokemon. Okay. And I have Thunder. Thunder hits 100% time here. Ripping. We ripping. Actually, do I think that a Hurricane is going to take that out? I think I'm just going to Water Spout just in case. Go for the Water Spout just in case. And Hurricane into that thing. Actually, yeah, Hurricane wouldn't take that thing out. I know Water Spout will. This one's over. Wrap it up. Cancel the battle, dude. Cancel. You know it's over. He knows it's over. He's going to protect the wrench like he... That's great. That's even better for us. Hurricane comes out here. Wop, 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 wop. Doing some nice damage. Give me the ducks. Show me the ducks. Ducks do not pop out here. There goes a water spout. Bill. Oh, my. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Critical hit, dude. Get it out of here, dude. So good. Even if Tailwind ends, I still we still have that plan. Yeah, there goes Tailwind. And what is he really gonna do here? What is he really gonna do here? Definitely gonna scold. I don't think what he's gonna do here. I'm definitely gonna try to set up another Tailwind. Tailwind coming out and about, which is just dandy. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here, and I wouldn't mind if he take out my uh, Kyogre. I don't mind it. Cause now I just have Tailwinds coming out here, and I have uh. Other Pokemon that's just going to be able to outspeed it. I could have I protected, but I didn't want to protect and then him take out my Noivern. 
That really could have been a bad play, but we have Urshifu in this back end. That's GG's. We have Tailwind set up. Totally thriving. Totally thriving. Totally okay with all this. And he's Choice Scarf, so that's 100% out of speed. Uh, Wicked Blow is definitely our best bet, because I don't want to lower my defense and just get, like, one-tapped. So I'm just going to go there into a Hurricane. Pretty much say GG's and grab you guys that winning record, like I said. Like I said, I said, we're not losing these next two. We're not doing that. First battle was so good, though. I really do. I'm glad we got that one on video, too. Even though we lost, it was such a good battle all around. It really was a good battle all around. The Wicked Blow comes through here. There it is. Takes out Red Zlecky, no problem. That thing's such a lightweight. And we grab ourselves that winning record for you guys. My man Colin sending an absolute banger of a team. I love this team so much. We grabbed ourselves that winning record, and this is a team if you guys want to push master rank or high ranks and master tier, definitely use it. Definitely use it. Very, very strong. Great all around, and it has a lot of versatility towards it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.